dear brothers and sisters, a blessed Monday to everyone. We are now on the Monday of the 34th week or last week in ordinary time. And we have heard the gospel reading about the widow's might. And this is actually a question what we're going to choose. Are we going to choose little giving with a great heart or much giving with a great heart or much giving with a little heart? Perhaps there is a dilemma in when we say we prefer so much of this more giving, even a little heart, rather than little giving with a much or great heart. If we have to look at the gospel reading today, it opens our mind to realize, after all, that the story is telling to us that the widow put in more than all the rest. It is more on giving with the sacrifice. It is more on giving that is, um, there is an act of fasting. Because the widow might not even thought of, of herself because she has given everything. The cultural background of the gospel reading, my dear brothers and sisters, is that we know that um, closest persons in the heart of Jesus are actually children and widows and the poor. Why? Because widows the time of Jesus are considered to be helpless. Widows in the times of the time of Jesus are those who have nothing because they have lost already their spouse, their husband, um, work, working for a living, providing for the family. That is why when you will you you are a widow in the time of Jesus, you're considered one of the uh, least persons in the community because you have nothing. There is no one to provide uh, things for life for you. And this is actually the, the context of this because Jesus saw the heart of the widow when he said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. My dear brothers and sisters, we are being challenged today on how we really um, reciprocate God's love to us. In the reciprocity is, in the fact, must seen in the mother that correspond of what we received from God as blessings. We see that if we receive more, we should give more. If we receive less, we should give less. Which is a question of there is no excuse from anyone that cannot give anything because he has received even less. But today, my dear friends, we are once again reminded today that it's not only about giving, it is more on the heart of the giver. That the most important is that when we give, we should give with a heart. And here, powerfully, we are being reminded once again by the story of the widow that she gave everything what she has. She put everything what she has. In which we may be, may we be inspired by her. That everything that we do, we do with a heart. And everything that we give, my dear brothers and sisters, must also correspond and reciprocate of God's love to us. My dear brothers and sisters, 
as we preparing for the new season of Advent, and as we are on this last week of the ordinary time, it is continuous invitation of a call of discipleship. May we be a disciple of Christ, giving and sharing always with a heart. Amen. Please stand.